I just ask. If you want to know why things aren't going as well as you expected, or there's suddenly been a surprise that you didn't see coming, the best way to find out what's going on is to ask your employees, just to ask. So yesterday, so Monday and Tuesday, I explored some of the reasons that people don't ask, they don't reach out, reach out and ask. And one of the things you must do is ask the right question. And the question must be clear. It must be concise. It must be descriptive enough for the recipient to understand what it is you're asking and what you're trying to get at. And we must ask open-ended questions. That is questions that can not just be answered with a yes or no. Like, did you like that meeting? No. That's not telling you anything. So an open-ended question could be, how do you feel about the restructure? And then the other thing that we must do is follow up. Have a follow-up question. And how do you think there would have been a better way to communicate the restructure? So we have to ask the right question in the right way. We also need to have a purpose. Make sure that the team or the individual understands the purpose you are asking that question. If you don't have a purpose, the question just becomes vaporware and it has no substance on which for someone to latch onto. So make sure that you're setting the scene and informing the person of why, what's the purpose in you asking the question? So you can take action, so you can make an informed decision. What is it? What is the concern? What is the opportunity? So make sure you set the scene so everybody's on the same page. And make sure you ask the question at the right time. Don't just tag it on to a one-on-one -on -one meeting that you're having with an employee that's asking them questions about their mental well-being. And then at the end, she said, oh, by the way, what did you think of so and so? You've now taken that meeting away from one that was all about them to one that now becomes about you and what you want to know. So make sure you have dedicated time to ask those, those questions. You know, not as part of that one-on-one, -on -one, maybe have a separate session as a team or as, uh, as individuals or tell the person that I'm going to tag on some time five minutes at the end of this meeting when we've wrapped up the meeting as it is I'm going to just have five minutes to ask you about some questions about x but don't just do it oh and by the way 